Hello, and welcome to Wi-Fi Recon Lab 1. My name is Rick Farina with Pentester Academy. Get started. Today, we'll start off pentesteracademy.com and click on Member Access. Then we want to access the Attack Defense Labs. As that loads, we go along the left-hand side, and we find our Wi-Fi Attack Defense and Reconnaissance. Today we are doing Wi-Fi Recon number one. From the drop-down, pick the server cluster nearest to you. I am US East, and then hit Run, and it will start up the lab. Take just a moment. Today we are going to be covering the basics of Wi-Fi devices, putting the device in monitor mode to find what's in the area, and using tools like AeroDump NG in around and what's going on. A couple of short questions for basics of how we're going to use the tool and hopefully we'll figure it out all real quick. I'll wait just a moment for the lab to finish starting itself up and then once it's ready we click lab link. So normally we start off just checking out our hardware typing Airmon NG in this case, Airmon NG isn't available, but to replace the helper functions that it causes for us, we've got some quick options right here. So first we do IP link set WLAN 0 down. That downs the monitor, uh, that downs the interface. And then we set IW dev WLAN 0 set monitor none and this turns it into monitor mode Monitor mode is kind of like promiscuous mode with an ethernet card the difference being it's going to pick up everything in the airspace not just things that are just kind of casually sent on the same interface so we're going to pick up everything in the airspace and see all kinds of fun stuff. so then we're going to up our interface and now we're going to just play and see what's going on so our first question here is is the phi 2 interface capable of transmitting frames on channel 13 so we're going to start off and just do the really easy way to do this we're going to do iw dev wlan 0 set channel 13. we're going to set the device to channel 13. and then we're going to do air replay test wlan 0. We're going to test the device after setting it to channel 13. We're going to see try and broadcast probe response uh, requests. No answer. Found one AP. Sent 30 packets and zero of them came back. So the answer is no. No, it cannot. So we cannot transmit on channel 13. What we can do is try to get an idea of why we can't transmit on channel 13. So we'll start off with IW list. IW is the modern tool to interface with wireless cards. See here, Phi 2 is the physical name for the wireless card. WLAN 0 is a, a virtual interface for that. And we can scroll through here and we can see band 1 and band 2 and which frequencies are supported. In this case, we can see channel 13 is marked no IR. That's no initial radiation. That means basically we're not allowed to talk first. So if we go in, we check IW reg get, we can see that the higher channels in the band, uh, 12, 13, and 14, are listed as passive scan only in this regulatory domain, which means basically no injection. Not allowed to inject on those channels at all. So we can. Do this a different way, arrow dump ng set channel with arrow dump. And we can indeed see we're setting the channel and we're sniffing on channel 13, um, but we still simply cannot transmit on channel 13. The Wi Fi stack does not allow us due to our regulatory restrictions or possibly some other hardware restrictions. There's, there's lots of reasons why this could fail, but in this case, it appears to just not be allowed to do it. So we go back, check out our flags, 
Is this capable of transmitting frames on channel 13? No. No, it is not. Our next question is, what is the BSS ID of SSID home network? So we're going to move on and take a look around. Okay. Arrow dump NG WLAN 0. This is just running all the defaults, looking at everything. And in this case, we see right away, here is an ESSID of home network. And here is a BSSID for it. This is basically the MAC address of the access point itself. So what is the BSSID? It is listed as BSSID. And that's it. What is the MAC address of the client connected to SSID corporate? Well, we can actually go right back here and see the same thing. Here is a client with the probe of corporate. It's looking for corporate. And we can see even that it is associated with a BSSID 68.7F77C2C29A. That is indeed corporate that it's talking to. So here is the client we're looking for. This is the client of corporate. A WEP network is also present in the vicinity. This network is on which channel? Take a quick look around, and indeed, home network is a WEP network. We can see in the encryption field and in the cipher field, it is WEP, and it is on channel four. Basically, that is your crash course into how AeroDump NG works and answering the first couple of questions for Reconnaissance Lab 1. There's a bunch of stuff in here, and we're going to get to a whole lot more of it in Lab 2. So for now, remember, if you didn't test it yourself, it doesn't work. And I will see you next time. Thank you.